How's it going guys? Electron Man. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Well, I got a watch review to do today. I'm um, kind of excited. I told you around Christmas I was going to get me one uh, with uh, some of my Christmas money. And uh, But I went ahead and picked one up and uh, I picked up another Aleves. Um, i tell you what, I think this is probably one of the most understated uh, bargain watches out there right now, to be honest with you. Um, I've got three or four of them now. Um, they're all really good timepieces. I think they're really based off of basically like a second movement. And uh, I mean, they're, they're really, um, my experience is they're a really quality watch. Um, you know, of course, they're obviously not a Rolex or something like that. But I mean, I think it's a watch that you can enjoy and wear and it'll last a good time. Um, like I said, that's kind of funny too. Good time, get it. Uh, watch time. But anyway, um, here she is. Um, this is a, a 41 millimeter, I believe. Um, this is a date watch. It uh, has the actually it has the year, the month, the day, and uh, what is the other thing it has on there? I have to turn the light on to read it all. But uh, it's got the day. The date, the month, and the year. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 yeah, the day, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The date, the day, and the, and the month, and the year. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty fancy little watch. That, of course, your your uh, month and year is here. And then your uh, your day is here. And your date is here. So that gives you the the, the whole overview of that. Um, really quality, as I've had with these. I've kind of gotten into... Uh, self-winding or automatics as you call them um partly because you know your rolex and a lot of your high ends are, are self-winding that is just kind of uh the precision of them and everything else makes it a little more uh, interesting to me i mean I, I like quartz watches too but it's just kind of the whole fashion thing and the thought that uh the extra work that goes into making an automatic watch but uh, anyway this is one of the you know basically it it uh it's spring and it winds by uh by motion um, i don't know if i can open this back up here I think it's got a clear back yeah it's got a clear back hopefully you can see this but uh as you can see it's got a counterweight that as you wear it during the daytime I think they say 10 to 12 hours a day and you never have to wind it uh, you can wind it if you need to um, I think initially they say this one to wind it like 30 40 times and then it should give you a couple of days if it's sitting on a on a table or something. But this watch is meant to wear, and uh, it's definitely uh, this is water rated to uh, I think 3 ATM. Basically, you can shower with it, you could go swimming with it, probably snorkeling. I wouldn't obviously go scuba diving with it, but uh, but it's a you know it's a sport watch that you can trust wearing all the time, including in the shower. Or forget you take a swim in a pool or something like that. This is a turbo billion, but I think they call it turbo. But uh, as you can see, it's got the. Uh, it shows you the uh, the main counter spring uh, ticking here. But that's a really cool feature. I mean, I'll like get you a good close up of this. This is a beautiful watch, by the way. But uh, yeah, I got a lot going on here. Um, of course, you. Uh, it's got two little inlets here that you have to use like a pin or a pointed up something to set, and that's to set the uh, the year and the month. And then uh, this on the dial here, you got your wine and then out one, and you can uh, adjust the time. And these two here set your uh, your day of the week and your and your uh, date. So that's all your different buttons there. Band wise, it's definitely uh, solid. From what I can tell, it's a nice construction. Like I said, I've really been impressed with these. In fact, when I first started buying these Aleve watches, I was picking them up for sub fifty dollars and um, apparently popularities went up and of course you know depending on which one you buy too the quartzes are still very reasonable you can still pick them up for 30 or 40 but you get into the automatics there's a there's jewels there's a lot more uh, mechanics that go into them so they're running a little bit more but still this is you know around a hundred dollar watch here and, i mean you're getting a lot of watch for a hundred dollars i mean this is a you know it's, it has a rolex type look to it it even has a little crown there um obviously it's not a rolex but uh but it definitely, I mean, you know, if you're walking somewhere with this on your arm, I think it's, it's impressive. Uh, let's go ahead and do the, the particulars on it. Um, Weight-wise, let's see what the weight is. It's a pretty hefty watch. Oops, come on, let's stay on there. 147 grams. Yeah, it goes, uh, goes in that 
that automatic timepiece. They usually run when I see 140 or 180 if it's a decent watch. Definitely, uh, it's got a little, little weight to it, but you want a little bit of weight to it. It's got a screw in back. As you can see, obviously, it's got the clear. I wish I could, I, I'm tempted to take the band off so you can get a better picture of the precision movement in it, but uh, I mean, it really is nice. I, I love that, you know, it's got the clear back and, and, and you can see the, uh, the main turbine um, clicking away. It's, it's just more entertainment to, to look at when you're watching. I mean, let's face it, these days watches are definitely fashion. So it's all about the look, and I think this has a really cool look. I'm actually wanting to get this in a blue, too. I'm going to end up with a blue and a green one, I believe. Um, I like the green, but I, I, I saw blue and I really like, too. I think I'm going to go ahead and get that, too. Uh, I definitely like the gold and silver. I think that makes a, a nice statement on the band. And the accent gold ring around the watch. Um, I, I can go ahead and I believe I said it was 41. I believe that's what they said it was. I'll go ahead and measure it. Oops. Yep, 41, and the actual lens is a 35. So it's real close to, uh, I think the watch I got on now is about exactly the same. Actually, I think it's a 42, but. Yeah, it's 41, too. That's about the size of the watch I like. I'm, I've, you know, I've got some big, I've even got a 52, but. You know, for everyday use, um, really 41 to 43 is the size I like to wear. Let's go ahead and put this on the wrist and uh, see what it looks like. It's got a nice size band. I got big wrists, so uh, no problem with, with the band being too small. Actually, boy, that's, that's a nice fit there. What do you think, guys? I think that is a pretty watch. I really do. I definitely think that'll stand out. I'm really looking forward to getting the blue one too, and which I'll come back and do a review on the blue one too. But uh, of course, this is brand new tags and everything, and I'll provide a link down there. They have them on Amazon. I think they're running $108 right now. If you got this before Christmas, I saw one time they had about a had a sale on. You can get them for about 90. So kind of watch if, if it's not on sale now, it's not going to come on sale. But uh. Nice watch. Uh, like I said, um, I think it's a really understated watch. I think this is a brand upcoming. Um, I'm noticing they've even got some higher end watches now coming out. Some, you know, three, four hundred dollar watches. But uh, like I said, I, I, Seiko movement. Um, it's quality construction. Um, this is not a. This is not a. You know, a fifteen dollar throwaway Walmart watch. This is definitely a, a watch to to care and take care of. Enjoy. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, this will kind of go on my elite series of watches. I'm just kind of excited I got this one. I'm going to start sporting this watch. And, uh, and we'll kind of keep you updated when I get the blue one in, how this one's keeping time and everything. So far, it looks like it's doing really good. And this is my first turbine. Turbine got the cool moving mechanics that you can see through it, kind of like a skeleton watch. I just think that's a neat feature. Anyway, guys, have a great day. This is Electron Man. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video.